I want to thank you, first of all, for allowing me to be a part of this memory. And Mr. Pete was 55 years old. He was the rock of this family. He did dirt work and he was also a diesel mechanic, but he wore this belt while he provided for his family. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it up and I'm gonna make keychains where each one of the family members can carry the, his memory with him always. And um, it's just touching, you know, I came so close to death so I know how precious this is and I, I thank you for allowing me to do this. Um, waiting for the brass key latches to come in, but I'm gonna go ahead and start designing it in my head and figuring out how I can make six keychains. Again, thank you and um, I'm gonna go ahead and video it as I cut it and prepare it for each one of you to have. It's, it's a true blessing that you honored me with this. So, let's go. I'm gonna get a square cut right here. Denise, this one's gonna be for you. Cause this, this is what held it all down. Represents how it held your family down. It's got the stitch marks in it. It's got where the buckle was and it, it was just glued together. It, it, it's not gonna be perfect because it's got some wear on it, but just like Pete, Pete had some wear on it, but he's the one that held it all together. Yeah, this is special. I got the three songs, just thinking about that. And Denise, uh, this is my gift to you, this one. That's why I'm doing it first. What we're gonna do now is we'll smooth out the edges of what I cut because I actually had to cut through those string lines. It's not gonna be perfect, but that's okay. And I kind of represent this as, you know, yeah, Pete might have been a little rough around the edges, just like we all are until we meet our wives and our wives kind of start smoothing out those edges a little bit. Not that they get to be perfect or anything, but we do get a little bit smoother around the edges and that's what my wife did for me for sure. Um, if it wouldn't be for her, I wouldn't have found my way to Christ. <clears throat> so I know he appreciates 
everything you've done for him, just like I appreciate everything my wife done for me. I've always, I've been preaching all these young men that our wives are our greatest investment. Um, not our trucks, not our property, but our wives. And, and we've got to treat them that way, um, like they are, because when it comes down to the end, that truck's not going to be by your side. That house is not going to be there for you, but your wife will. And I know you were there for him. I just know it. And he knows it. Because speaking from a man, I know that we know that our wives are there for us. It's getting a little smoother. You can see. So I'm going to put some more token all on there and get that squared away. Okay, you can see how it's like glass right now compared to what we started with was very rough. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit these black this side with the black. I don't want to touch up all of this, but I do want to protect the sides the way y'all don't have problems with it. There we go. Look at there. That looks good. Okay, I'm gonna get the other side done, just like what I just did, so. We'll get that ready. I'm thin, thinning this out a little bit, so when I do pull it over and, and stamp it, um, that's how it's gonna look like that. But I don't want it to be so thick right here. So I'm gonna thin this out, and I have a little tool that thins leather out. Getting close, you see how it's getting there. Get it on here. There we go. So then when I do this, now it's a lot thinner. Doesn't stick out as much. We're gonna to try to get that cross on here. This is not ideal leather for stamping, but I think I can make it happen for yours, uh, Miss Denise. Let's see. Let me make sure, double check again. So I want it right there. So if I can go in the middle of that, I'd be fine. So I'm gonna go in the middle. Right there. And tap it. Try to get it good and stamped. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, now you can see it. I'm gonna put some black on it. Cause I don't I don't know if it's gonna hold its shape. Cause it's not like I said, not the ideal leather to hold its shape, but if I dye it black, that cross should stay there for you. Like I said, this is my gift to you, Miss Denise. This indicates that he is in heaven with our Father. And he's in paradise where we all want to go one day. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's see. There you go. All right, Miss Denise, I'm going with the ring, with the one that I'm gonna give you as a gift. It represents that it can be unbroken. 
even though he's moved on, you two will always be connected. That's what we're gonna do it as, right there. Get that leather around it real good. Get the other side. There we go. Let's go ahead and put a protectant on it. I'm gonna go ahead and buff it. Got a piece of sheep wool right here. That back done too. All right, there you go. Miss Denise, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be able to do this. I know it's just a small symbol and I know this is probably be hard to watch for you, but my heart goes out to you. As a man, when I was given six weeks to live with stage four cancer, my greatest fear was leaving my wife alone. I know he felt the same way. Thanks again.